everybody, my name is Kevin Jones. Welcome to the Goddamn Mountain Goat video series here on YouTube. Uh, I am, uh, this is the second video of the series. This, uh, this video will um, talk about arrows. First video we covered, if you haven't seen already, um, if you're new to the bow hunting world, this whole series is, um, this first, it's going to be a 10 part series. So this whole series is meant for you to inform you um, as a new and upcoming and up and rising bow hunting superstar to um, become familiar with the gear that we use to determine what gear you should use. Um, I guess the the options and the uh, possibilities that are out there um, for you to look into. Um, there's a lot of stuff and a lot of misconception and uh, and I guess misinformation about bow hunters and um, I guess what we do and the gear that we choose. A lot of it's a big mystery, <clears throat> and I've noticed that a lot of people do not know where to even start when they begin their bow hunting career. So this is um, this is for you. So like I said, this. Uh, this episode, we're going to be talking about arrows. Um, I have some arrows right here. Um, I just got them from Gold Tip. It's uh, one of the um, arrow manufacturers that um, produce high quality arrows for guys like me and people like you now. Um, I'm going to kind of start from the beginning about what arrows are. I am not going to get into um, really in depth analysis and test results and a lot of deep details about arrows. Um, this is not really meant for people who already have a basic understanding of arrows and which ones to choose, how to go about finding them. Um, this is for those people, people that have never hunted before with bows, um, have no idea how to get arrows, what arrows sh they should buy, which ones they shouldn't, how do they know with all these fancy numbers and all these weird, um, all the weird details that uh, some of these manufacturers put on their arrows. So we are going to start at the very top and work our way down. Um, so whenever you do buy arrows, you have basically two choices. You can order them online through places like, um, like I said before, places direct from Gold Tip, if you already know which ones you want to get, um, or Cabela's, or Bass Pro, or Gander Mountain, um, any of the outdoor um, warehouse kind of stores, box stores, um, in whatever's closest to you, you can go in. Um, you can ask the archery department there. They can get you set up. You can go to a bow shop, an archery shop. Um, they can get you set up as well, um, help you kind of steer into that um, correct choice. Um, if you are nervous about doing that and you're like, ah, I don't really, I want to kind of do it on my own, I, you know, in the privacy of my own home, I kind of want to do some research and figure out what arrows to buy, this is you. So this is how they come. If you do decide to buy them from places like, oh, is that upside down? No, you're good. Um, from places like um, uh, some of these stores, so I'm just going to kind of go from the beginning. I'm going to open this up. They come with these. We'll get to those in a second. And let me turn this off. How embarrassing. This is how they come. There are, this is a pack of 12. You can buy them. Some companies offer packs of three, I think. Um, but typically like a pack that you can buy, um, they come in six or 12. So this is the arrow that I shoot. It's the Gold Tip Velocity Pro. Um, and it says right here, I don't know if you can quite see that, that 340. So that's one of the numbers that we're gonna talk about. Um, but first, uh, what I wanted to do is kind of give you an overview of the different parts of an arrow. Um, if you've never hunted before, this is kind of all for you. So you have a couple different parts. This one doesn't have, um, there's a variety of different names, head, point, broadhead, field tip, whatever you want to call. There's a part that you screw in here. Um, connected to that is, uh, is the, is the uh, insert. So there's an insert, which are these things, which I need to put into here. And uh, there's certain glue that you can use. So this right here is the insert that you can connect your um, either broadhead or field tip to. So it's right here. It's kind of what they look like. And what they do is once you get some glue, when you get these new things, you slide it right on into here. All I did was put this guy into here. Super scientific here. And once you get it set, this is what you screw things into. So if you're shooting at a target and you're just practicing, you're not gonna want a big, you know, broad head. Um, you're not gonna want your razor blade sticking out here. You're gonna want something else that's called a field tip, which we'll get to as well. But that's kind of another series. So then you have what's called the shaft, which is this whole thing right here. The whole thing, it's super big, it's the shaft. Right up here, you have the fletching, the veins, the 
what it's feathers someplace some um arrows have feathers on them so like the old robin hood series this is where the feathers would be um and then back here you have the knock so the knock this little thing right here is what you put onto your bowstring so your bowstring is literally the string of your bow and when you go to shoot you want to put your knock directly onto the bow string so that's what you when then when you draw back you essentially draw back this entire thing along with your bowstring and then when you release your bowstring, it pushes the whole arrow forward, launching it uh, towards your target. So that's kind of a basic overview of kind of the different parts, um, a little bit more into the specifics now. So there's different types of arrows. There's just like cars and anything else in the world. There's different brands, there's different types, there's whatever your preferences are. Um, as a new bow hunter, you probably don't have any preferences, maybe color. You know, I'm, I'm a color guy. I've, you know, bought pink arrows before because I think they'd spice up the bow a little bit. Um, so, but first, before we even go into, you know, various types of brands, we're going to talk about the prices. New bow hunter, you just bought your bow, or at least you're looking at them on Craigslist. Um, so you kind of have an idea of what that's going to cost. So the next thing, bow hunting doesn't do you much good and having a new fancy bow doesn't do you much good if you don't have any arrows to shoot. So the, I, I took a quick look online um, the average-ish price for six of these arrows, um, maybe not this particular brand, but an arrow similar to this is ranges from 40 to 60 bucks for six arrows. Um, or for 12 arrows, you can basically double that, and the average is about 80 to 120 bucks. Um, arrows can be pretty expensive. Um, they can also be pretty cheap. You want to find something right in the middle that suits your needs. Um, your first thing that you should at least remember is that you're going to be looking for what's called carbon arrows. So these are all carbon arrows. The, um, another option that you might see out there is aluminum arrows. Um, I would stay away from aluminum arrows as a, uh, as a new bow hunter for a variety of reasons. You know, they tend to break more and as a, as a new bow hunter, you kind of want a little bit more forgiveness. So carbon's the way to go. So get carbon arrows. Um, your... Arrows can be a variety of weight and stiffness. So this right here, this 340, let's get back to there. That 340 is a, is a number that talks about the stiffness. So it's basically, the, it's, it, it's essentially the spine. So when we talk about an arrow's spine, it's, uh, it's basically a, a number that tells us how much the arrow flexes. So this one flexes pretty good. And you know, with the number, it's, it's essentially the stiffness. Every arrow should flex when it leaves the bow, but it should only flex a little bit. If it flexes too much, you know, and essentially has a weak spine, um, you know, it, uh, the flight will be like erratic and it'll be a little wacky and you won't have accurate shots. But if, if it doesn't flex enough, if it's, if it's too stiff, um, it won't have any forgiveness. So, you know, consistent accuracy, you know, will, will suffer if, if you don't have the right arrow. So you're going to need to get the right number. Um, and you might be asking yourself right now, Kevin, that's great. I, I love the right number. I want to get the right number. What, what do I do to get the right number? The right number spine, right? The, the, an arrow that's perfect for you um, without getting into too much of the, of the nitty gritty. Um, so for brass tacks and, and just a bare minimum to get you by, um, if you do not want to go into an archery store, which I get, you're new, I get it. Um, if you don't want to do that, if you just want to study up in the you know comfort of your home, maybe order some um, online. What you can do is you can go to places like, for instance, since these are gold tip, I will talk about um, you know gold tips website. So I, I spent a fair amount of time on gold tips website, um, kind of uh, reading up on different products, figuring out which ones I should get, I wanted to get, I wanted to order. Um, so they have something that's pretty cool. It's called the, uh, the arrow selector tool. And it's basically, um, it's basically a, uh, a calculator of sorts that will direct you to the right arrow that you should buy. Um, so what you, what you first you start off is is the type of hunting you're going to be doing. Maybe you're not even going to be hunting. Maybe you like the idea of um, you know of, uh, of of shooting indoors. So shooting in indoor ranges. Maybe you're shooting outdoors at fake animal targets, 3D targets. Um, if you're hunting regular size game, maybe big game like bear, moose, you know, elk, um, you select that on their little arrow selector tool. Then it brings in your, I guess your next screen from there would be like different factors and it'll, it'll, it'll guide you the whole step through. It's not rocket science. I'm not a very smart guy, but, um, it's, it's easy to follow. And at the end, it'll spit you out some results. Hey, these are a couple areas that we think you're going to be most interested in. 
And then from there, also on their website, they have different things like, and, and a lot of other manufacturers have this as well, um, is they have kind of a, a, um, a scale, if you will. So even printed on the back right here, so this is the back of the box I just showed you, see all this, all this pretty, pretty stuff. Basically, that just tells you if your draw is, if when you pull back, if your arms are a certain length, you're going to pull back a certain length, and your, your, draws, your draw length is going to be different. Yours will be different from mine. Maybe it'll be the same. Who knows? But on these things, they have the, the, um, your draw weight, what kind of poundage your bow shoots, and we'll talk about that as well. And then it talks about your point weight, which is a lot of different stuff. Um, do some homework. Read up on this stuff. Um, if you are completely lost in everything I'm talking about, I don't blame you. Um, it's kind of a lot to take in when it comes to arrows. But I like the, the KISS method, right? The keep it simple stupid. I like to keep it simple. So I just have to remind myself of that. Just to be keep it simple, go to goldtip.com. Go into a local archery store. Go into your archery or your local sports store that sells arrows. Talk to somebody. They'll get you set up. Take your new bow with you. Because they'll say, okay, well, you know, we're also going to need to determine what weight you have. which And a lot of different factors. So once you do get your bow, which was in the first step of this video series... You're going to want to take that with you. Um, at least figure out what your draw weight is. So your draw weight, again, is, is when you pull back and how much weight it is and how much weight is, is launching that arrow forward. Um, that will play a factor into this. Um, you, can, uh, you can go about this a couple of different ways, but uh, make sure you get the right arrow. If you don't get the right arrow, your accuracy is going to suffer. You could be doing everything right, but if you shoot the arrow and it goes to the right or goes up and down or it's it's inconsistent at best um, that might be a sign that you need to get a different arrow or you might you, or you may need to tune your bow more um, also there'll be another series on that um, so arrows numbers we learned that it's the spine um, it's not necessarily the weight of the arrow um, and uh, different arrows are different or the arrow that you choose might be different than mine you know depending on your all of your, you know, all of your um, your draw length, your draw weights for your bow. Um, your bow might be faster than mine or slower. Um, do some homework. Goldtip.com, arrow selector. You can read up. You can watch YouTube videos for days on, on arrows. Goldtip has some. A lot of bow companies do. A lot of professional archers do. I'm not a professional archer. Um, so, you know, to, to kind of to kind of round it back out. It all depends on what you're looking to do. Um, it might be overwhelming, you know, as, as bow hunters, we kind of want the, the best arrows because we want to have consistent flight or we want to have, you know, that arrow hitting the exact same place um, every time. Uh, so I would, I would, I guess, recommend that you do that. Um, that'll probably be it for now. Uh, I have some arrows to tend to, um, new box. So I am going to, I'm going to, uh, set everything up on this. I will talk to you guys soon. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Um, hopefully you learned a little bit on that. Might have rambled on a little bit, 13 minutes now. Um, so yeah, that'll be it for now. Next video, we are going to be talking about releases. Um, and then after that, we're also gonna dive into sights and stabilizers and all sorts of other stuff that you're gonna need to know a little bit about. Like I said, this isn't an in-depth analysis. This is the bare bones to get you started, get you scooting along, um, get you out in the field and uh, taking down big animals and uh, coming home and feeding the family with it. So uh, again, my name is Kevin Jones. This is the Goddamn Mountain Goat video series on YouTube, and we'll see you next time. Thanks.